In order to create our slide cast, the very first thing that we have to do is turn our PowerPoint presentation into a bunch of pictures. There's an easy way to do this, and in order to do it, we do need to go to Connect to School, which loads just as slowly for me as it does for you. I have to say yes to that prompt. I don't know if you get the prompt to say yes to them inside PowerPoint. You just load your presentation. I know my presentation has absolutely nothing to do with yours, and oh my goodness, do I have a lot of slides. Look at all those slides. Woo, so many slides. Actually, I actually have 99 slides, even though the last slide's kind of blank. You go to File, you go to Save As, which is right there. Click on Save As. Give Connect to School time to be slow because it is. Under Save As, you go all the way down in the options list to .png, which is there. And then you click on Save. Say All Slides, and then you wait. And as with everything else, this is going to take quite a while. Waiting, still waiting, still waiting. And then you should see the following screen pop up. And there it is, a screen that shows clearly that we have exported all of our slides as PNGs. Now let's go check and find where they are. Go to My Network Documents and double click on that. Inside there, you should see a folder with the same title as your PowerPoint presentation. Double click on the folder, and inside, once Connect to School in its slowness loads entirely, you should see every single one of your slides as PNGs. Notice, all 99 of mine. Here is an example of what one of the PNG pictures looks like, look just like the slide. Now we get to use it over in Movie Maker. Go to Movie Maker, choose to import some media, go to the same place that you had put all of your PNGs. I use Shift, so click on the first one, hit Shift, and then click on the last one, hit OK. You can uncheck if you want to make clips because it's not videos. And slowly but slowly, it will import every single picture so that you can start making your slide cast. And there they all are. To use them, you simply grab one. I'm going to grab the first one, because after all, we should start at the beginning. And drag it down to where it says Timeline. Drop it in the spot that says Video. Now, it's got a set length. You can change that length later, but I'm going to show you first how to add your narration. So you have also recorded yourself talking into a video. And here's an example of a video. You drag the video down, not like I showed you, not to audio, but all the way down. So see, that puts the video up there. We don't want to see you talking. Just all the way down to where it says audio slash music. That's where you need to drag your video, which will, of course, only use your audio portion, which is how my audio portion ended up on this. And as you can see, I have started playing the music. The next thing you're going to want to do is run up to your collections. Go back to any collections that you think have your images in it. For me, it was the big collections giant folder altogether. And from there, you can now drag additional slides down to your video portion of your timeline. Now all you have to do is change the amount of time you have this looking at a different slide. By doing that, you just grab the side of the slide and drag it back and forth until it matches your word audio cues. You can make one as long as you want, one as short as you'd like. You can reorder your slide images, whatever you would like.
If you ended up having way too much audio for your video, you can, of course, um, cut the end of your audio by dragging it backwards in time, although this may take many, many uh, attempts because, at least with my audio that I'm showing, it was 30 minutes long and my video ended up being two. Finally, you will reach a point where you get back to your visuals, and when you get to that point, you will notice that it sort of freezes. It freezes or sticks at the place where the audio ends up with the end of the video. If that happens, then you can leave it there, and that'll make both your audio and your video finish at the exact same time. You can then play it from the beginning with the audio also blasting at you, and to save it, you go to... Um, a export movie, you choose My Computer, you give it a fun title, like I'm doing now. You hit Next, you choose Best Quality, you hit Next again, and then you hit Finish. Thank mm -hmm. you. 